Today I'd like to talk to you about a way of sending a signal from an HDMI device through coax cable. And just to be very clear here, this is um, HDMI over coax on the cheap. And this method we're going to use here will not result in an HD picture. It's just simply a way of connecting an HDMI device to a coax cable to be used, say, on an old television or as part of a home cable system. If you're interested in setting up an HDMI over a coax system that can output an HD picture, Thor Broadcasting and Channel Master both make modulators that are capable of doing that, but they cost hundreds of dollars and they're kind of beyond the focus and budget of this video. So the heart of this system is this little HDMI to AV converter, and these are really inexpensive, widely available online. Uh, they're priced anywhere from 10 to $15 and up. Um, here's a closer look at it. You can switch it from PAL to NTSC broadcast formats. It does require a power source, and that's just through a USB cable. Here's the output side here, just your standard composite RCA jacks. Yellow is video and the red and white are your audio signals. And it's an HDMI input. Now what this converter does is takes this HDMI signal, which is a digital signal, and converts it to an analog signal, uh, RCA output or composite, which is useful to connect to an older TV that does not have a digital tuner, or you could even take this and convert it to a coax to send to a really old TV that doesn't have RCA inputs. But realistically though, with this type of little converter, you're not going to get a digital signal output, even though it does say it upscales. Now this device will not work backwards. You cannot plug in something with RCA jacks and get an HDMI signal, it only goes one way. Here's a model of the basic setup, starting here at the converter. Your HDMI source gets plugged in here. This could be a Blu-ray player, a laptop, a streaming device. Your RCA output is here, and that goes into some kind of a modulator. Now, mind you, if you didn't want to use coax, you could plug this directly into an older TV if your TV has RCA inputs. But if you wanted to feed this to coax, say for a TV that does not have RCA inputs, or if you wanted to make this part of, a, say, a home run cable system, then you need some kind of a modulator. This one here, um, I just bought another one of these for $21 online, so they're not expensive. They will output the channel 3 or 4, but you need some kind of a modulator to output to coax cable. And I have a laptop I'm using as the HDMI video source that goes out here into the converter and then the RCA plugs come out of the converter to the VCR and we use the RF out on the VCR to send the signal to channel 3 on our TV. Let's go look at that. And here's the video on our TV. Channel 3. And overall, the picture quality is pretty good. And the same setup again, except this time we're using our mini modulator that's also set to channel 3. Let's go have a look at that. And this is the picture quality with the mini modulator. And the same setup here again, except this time I'm using this UHF modulator, which is tuned to channel 19. And this modulator has worked very well in other situations. And same thing here, good picture and sound. So overall, this converter worked very well with a variety of RF modulators to send an HDMI video signal over coax cable. This is an inexpensive way to connect an HDMI video source from, say, a streaming device, a video game system, or 
some other HDMI video source to either an older television or when you use it with the RF modulator as part of a home run cable system where you can distribute a signal throughout the TVs in your house using the existing coax. Don't forget as well, you're not actually getting an HD signal. It's still going to be probably 480p at the best. But for the price, it might be worth trying out.